guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this Black Magic Halloween makeup look. This look is in collaboration with Ipsy for their Glam Back page. So hi Ipsters! Stay with me if you want to recreate this Black Magic look or if you just want to see me transform. Okay guys, so for this look we're going all out and we're drawing a magical chess piece. When I think of black magic, I think of the moon and how magical it looks when shining bright in the middle of the night. So we are going to use our magical makeup skills and we're going to transform into a moon witch. I'm mainly going to use water paint for this chess piece. First, I'm going to use Wild Orchid from Mayron's Paradise Paint Palette and I'm gonna use it as a base color. I'm applying that with a large round tip brush and then I'm going to take violet, purple, dark and light pink and I'm gonna randomly apply them all over my chest in a dabbing motion using e.l.f.'s flawless concealer brush. The look we're going for is more artsy and magical so you can definitely just let your creativity flow and pick your own colors. Then I decided to experiment a little, so I used Carolyn's UV Aqua Paints in purple and pink and I repeated the same process but I concentrated those colors mainly in the middle. After I finished applying all the colors, I went ahead and did my face to let the chest piece dry, but I'm just gonna show you now how I finished it off. To draw the moons, I found it easier to do it with the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil. And after I drew all the shapes that I wanted, I went in with the Mayron's white water paint to brighten it up a little bit more. For the faces of the moon, I just googled a picture and followed it. After brightening up the moons, I took a thin liner brush with a white cream paint. This one was from Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I started drawing some designs. Later I put a longer clip of the entire chest piece that you can take a look at if you want to. I also used NYX's Big Fat Liner to put in some black in the moons and give them some contrast. Here's the final chest piece. You don't necessarily have to do this, you can definitely go by your own design, but this is mine. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes, but before I do that, I'm just gonna prime my face with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Then I'm gonna use this Better Skin Concealer as a base by Maybelline and put that all over my eye. Now using the color Best Friend from the Tartelet Palette, I'm gonna take a fluffy pencil brush and start defining my crease. Now to define our crease even more, I'm gonna take this small shader brush and this pink color from the Too Faced Pretty Rebel Palette and put that on my crease. Then with the same brush, I'm gonna take the darkest color in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette Plum and finish defining my crease. Moving on to brows, I'm going to take a few different purple liquid lipsticks and use that to make my eyebrows. The first product I put on this spoolie was the Koala shade from Colourpop and then I followed it with Aisha from Kat Von D. Then to finish off my brow, I'm going to take the color Guess from Colourpop and apply it with an angled brush. Don't worry if it looks a little messy because you can take concealer or foundation and clean it up afterwards. Now we're gonna take a small flat round brush and apply concealer to the crease to clean it up. After I'm done cleaning it up, I'm gonna take Anastasia's Moonchild Highlight Palette and I'm gonna apply the color Pink Heart all over my eyelid. Now to give my crease a pop of color, I'm gonna take NYX's LOTD in Kinetic and line my crease like so. And then we are gonna do a wing liner with Kat Von D's Ink Liner in Trooper, which you can find in your October glam bag. This has actually been my go-to liner lately. Because of the felt tip, it makes it super easy to do a wing liner. Now moving on to the face, I'm gonna color correct my red areas in my face with green and then my dark circles with the salmon color. Now I'm gonna apply my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation which you can also find on your October glam bag. 
and I'm just using a beauty blender to buff it out. Now I'm gonna use a concealer like three shades darker than my usual concealer and contour my face. I like this method because it makes for easy application and it blends out smoothly. And now to highlight the high points on my face, I'm just gonna use the Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline. And to set it all, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Mineral Loose Powder Foundation and the RCMA No Color Powder. By the way, I love using the Elf Tapered Brush to set my under eyes. Now I'm just taking the same cut from the eyeshadow palette and smoking out my lower lash line. Now we start getting creative. I'm gonna take a dark lip liner, the one that I use for my eyebrows, guess. And I'm gonna run down some lines under my eye like if it was kind of a tear. I got inspired by Dustin Baylord. I'm gonna leave his link down below. And then I'm going to start drawing little figures that I like, like moon, stars, and circles. And to do that, I use Kat Von D's Ink Liner and Trooper. And then I wanted to try it with NYX's Liquid Liner also. And then to make my look colorful, I took a few of NYX's liners and made a few little dots. I also added some glitter and some little diamonds. Feel free to put these wherever you wish and make the look your own. But if you want to do it just like this, feel free to pause the video or follow me on Instagram for pictures. Now to highlight my inner corner, I'm using Stila's Metallic Dusty Rose. To draw the moons in my forehead, I took a little cap and lightly pressed it against my forehead and then filled it in with the eyeliner. Now I'm just getting creative and drawing some lines around the moons to make the whole look magical and witchery. For these specific lines, I use NYX's LOTD in Kinetic and I went over it with the white liner. You can also add some rhinestones to this to make it more glam. Now I'm just using the same Best Friend shadow from the Tartelette palette to contour my nose. And then I'm gonna concentrate a lot of the color right under my nose like so. And I'll also go later on with the pink shadow from the Pretty Rebel palette from Too Faced. And I'll go over it and define my nose a little more. Then you're gonna take those colors down the lines that go from your nose to your lips. And we're kinda gonna make like a triangle. And then I'm gonna mix these colors from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette to make a dark purple and define that triangle even more. Now we're gonna take the pink color from the Too Faced Pretty Rebel Palette and shade around the triangle. Now we're gonna take some cream white paint and add some highlights. Same shading technique with the pink, just around the upper lip and below it to define our chin like a witch. And now I'm gonna take Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Aisha and put it all over my lips. Now with a lip brush, I'm gonna take the same color and I'm gonna wing my top lip to give it a more pouty look. And now I'm gonna take the same white cream paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette to highlight my lips kind of like a pop art look. Now I'm just drawing a line and some circles in my chin and then I also put a little gem in the middle of the circle. To give some purple color to my face I'm going to take these two shades from the Urban Decay's Vice palette and I'm going to use them to highlight and contour my face.
Now I'm just setting my face with the Urban Decay's finishing spray so that when I apply the highlight, it helps it look super intense. Now doing the final touches, I'm just drawing some lower lash lines with NYX's liquid liner in black. Using the It Cosmetics waterproof pencil in black, I'm outlining my outer corner and applying falsies off camera. Okay guys, this is it. We're all done. I hope you guys liked it or found it cool to watch me transform. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys like the whole black magic thing they have going on. I know I do. Um, also, please subscribe so you can see my other videos. And don't forget to comment down below any looks that you would like to see for Halloween this year. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!